Hey, what's up everybody? This is Leroy and welcome to my channel 40 and Broke where we're all about getting out of debt, saving, investing, and getting our finances under control so we can live the life we've always dreamed of because that's what it's all about, living the life we've always dreamed of. So I'm here at work walking the bike path and there's not going to be too many days that are nice that I can do this because pretty soon this thing will be covered in snow. So I'm out walking now and figured what the heck. This is what I do. I do videos while I'm at work, so I might as well do another one now. So I'm coming here today, and I'm going to do my August closeout, September, uh, I guess, check-in. You know, my goals for September, stuff like that. So in August, basically it was a pretty expensive month. We had the county fair and everything, and so that was pretty expensive. And then... But I still managed to stay on track and editing Leroy is going to come in and he's going to show you what I did for my workouts and how many uh, um, no spend days I had because even though I had fare and I did spend a lot of money, I also had a lot of no spends and I had a lot of workouts. All right, everybody. Editing Leroy is here. So let's see what we got going on. I'm at work, so I apologize for the bullshit quality. But, as you can see here, I've got my calendar in front of me, and you can see where we put our last stickers at the beginning. This is for August, so we're going to finish up August. And I've already marked everything down. So, the week of the 7th through the 13th, I had 7 no spends, 3 workouts. The week of the 14th through the 20th, that was fair. So there were no, not a single day that went by that I did not do some sort of impulse spending. I did very good not spending, but like if I went to a store and bought something I wasn't necessarily there for, I considered that a impulse spend. So I assumed that I just spent every day. But I also considered every day a workout because oh my god there is nothing but walking all day long at the fair so that put my uh no spends at seven workouts at ten then the next week look at all those no spends that was an entire week of no spends until we got to saturday who knows what i spent money on saturday i didn't even pay attention to i didn't write it down i'm trying to do better in september but that put me at 13 no spins and 10 workouts. Don't look like I did any more workouts. So I ended up, there's what I say 13. I ended up with 16 no spins, 10 workouts. And these were my goals 13 no spins, 13 workouts. I got the 13 no spins. Came close on the workouts. Read one book. I did not record two one million road to one million challenge videos i did not uh the found money though look at that i started off the month of august with seven dollars and five cents in august alone i found seven dollars and 39 cents of found money granted three dollars and 20 cents of that was a bottle slip return uh, that somebody had dropped at Walmart and I found on the floor. So, you know, but still, that's $3.20. I, even without that, I'd have still found $4.19 in just in cash and change, just change lying on the ground or wherever. I look, here's my, here's my trick. I look in vending machines now. I check the coin slots for vending machines. A lot of people just leave their coins there. So, but I got fourteen forty-four total. So that's that month, and I'm gonna pause you guys quick, and I'm gonna put all my stickers on here, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like with all the stickers. So there's what it looks like with the stickers, and I didn't even have enough no spend stickers. And I tried, let me show you this uh, quick. Here's the stickers. I get them from 307 Design Studio on Etsy.com. That's Marlene Snow Gardener 307 and her 
sister-in-law. I tried ripping this just so that I could use these, the words up here as, you know, stickers for the no spends. But that's some good quality stuff. You can see right there, you can see where I tried ripping it and all it did is like crumble a little bit. Good design stickers right there. 307designstudio.etsy.com. That's Marlene. Go check her out. But there it is. I'll have to put the other stickers on there and go from there. Until we got to Saturday. Who knows what I sp Editing Leroy back here again. And now we're going into September. So I didn't quite make my goals in August. But I'm trying to do better this time. If you actually look, look at that. I'm writing down what I spent money on. So, so far, spent $65 on gas for my truck, and then we bought pizza that night, $35. I should have just made the Parmesan chicken I had out, but it was pretty busy, so I said screw it. No spend on the second and a workout. A workout on the third, but I spent $10 at the Amish auction. And I mean, and the funny thing is I didn't even buy anything for me. I bought uh, some tent steaks for my father-in-law and I bought a collector's license plate for somebody. Then Meyer, I went grocery shopping and tractor supply. I had to buy cat food and something for my in-laws for their dog. No spend on the fifth. I got gas on the 6th, but I, yet, yeah, well, oh, that would have been, well, not yesterday, but gas on the 6th, mm -hmm. um, but I don't count gas because I budget for it. It's not an impulse buy. It's not something that is, it's not a non-budget item, budget-related item, so I consider it a no-spend. So I had a workout and a no-spend that day. The 7th, workout, no-spend, and today's the 8th, Thursday the 8th. So I had a workout today because I did some uh, walking and sorry, I accidentally hit a button and stopped recording. But as I was saying, uh, I want to finish that book that I didn't finish in August, but I need to crack down on it. I haven't been reading in a while. Yeah, I've mostly just been playing a game on my phone. Basically, it's like cheap Tetris. So, knock off Tetris. And uh, so that's what I've been doing. Now, another one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to record and upload uh, two videos a week. I'm, lo I'm looking for two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for at least one, but I, I'd like to be able to have two. So, then I think the last goal was to... the hell was that? And then my last goal is I want to get under 200 pounds. So I don't have a lot to lose. I only have like four or five pounds that I have to lose, but I need to crack down on it. And I've noticed that I'm a bit of a, I like to self-sabotage because last night, as I was telling myself not to, I sat down and ate a bunch of ice cream. So it's like, yeah, fatty don't need any of that stuff, but I ate it anyways. So like I said, I need to I need to crack down and stop self-sabotaging. Same thing with the uh, with my one million challenge. I need to stop self-sabotaging myself. However, bugs. However, um, I am getting a financial coaching book that I ordered. I'm getting that tomorrow. So, or it should be. Amazon says it'll be delivered tomorrow. So I can't wait to start reading that. Then that way I can get into, see what the ins and outs of the actual business part are and how they do things. And then I'm going to reach out to some counseling services in the nearby cities. And if they offer parenting classes, I'm sure they could use uh, financial classes to go with that parenting class. So that's one of my goals. So I need to get that done also because can't make no money if you're not uh if you're not hustling you know so 
that's I think that's basically it I've been doing awesome with the no spends this month so far once again editing Leroy will jump in here and show you what he's done with September so you can see the no spends I've had and the workouts that I've had so far I'll probably end up having a no spend today also so that's my week so far and oh let me get down here what I say these are my goals I want 13 no spends and I'm looking good on that I want 13 workouts and I'm looking good on that I'm trying to get under 200 pounds and like I said I don't have much to go I'm at like 203 204 so I only gotta lose like five pounds to hit that so, but my problem is I have a habit of self-sabotaging and as I was sitting there talking about it to my brother, I was eating a bowl of ice cream. You know, I probably said that just a minute ago and forgot, but hey, that's, I recorded the other part of the video a while ago. Now editing Leroy's coming in and he forgot what he said. So deal with it. I want to finish reading that one book and I want to upload one time a week. That's what my goal was. Upload one time a week. So I got to do it. I got to be consistent. So there it is. There's my September goals. And all oh, the other thing I want to do is I need to put it down here, but I need to start thinking about my year in review, where I was at, the pros, the cons of the year, and get ready to see what, what I'm going to do with my next year. Name my next year. This was supposed to be my year of intent. I believe that I sadly failed at it, but you know, I'm going to look everything over, see how we do. But there we go. Editing Leroy is out. All right. So that's about it. You know, that's my September goals. That's my September check-in. And I'm do actually doing pretty good. I'm kind of on track. So I just got to keep it going. All right, y'all, you know what You know what it is. Just keep hustling, keep doing your thing, and every little bit counts. All right, have a good one, everyone.